Followers, listeners, I don't have no followers here. We are a team. I don't have no. Uh, we don't have no following here. And then the other news. <laughs> the other news story is is Alex Jones. I don't keep it with Alex Jones. Just a little taste. I keep it. I, I, I know about Alex Jones, but I do, and I did hear about Alex Jones. He was telling people that the Sandy Hook thing was was fake, and the little children that died at Sandy Hook, the school that they died or whatever, they all of it was fake. And it, it was actors and all this kind of good stuff. So I'm looking at some of the court footage of Alex Jones. And this man said for years that Sandy Hook was fake. He also talked about other things too. But he pissed the Sandy Hook families off. And see, this is the way I feel. And this is the way uh, Sister Nandy feel. If you really believe that and you got it going on, you shouldn't have a problem. Bring your evidence. Don't take the problem or whatever in your own hands. Take it to court. Just like that ding bat, ding bat, Karen downstairs. If I'm making all that loud ass noise, let's go to court. Bring your evidence and take me to court. I'm talking loud on purpose right now. Let's go to court. Tell me you ready. I can't talk in my own house. Now I'm talking loud. I 
I'm talking loud on purpose. You can hear me. Let's go to court. I'm paying rent here and I can't talk in my own house. A goddamn pig complaining about the damn noise. This is my house. This is not no drums and some music and all that kind of good stuff. I can't talk in my house. Like you some queen or whatever. You pay my rent. You can tell me what to do. When you pay my damn rent. Arrogant ass people. Like they own the world or something. Take your ass to a nursing home somewhere. To the damn cemetery. It's always quiet there. A lot of these pink people think they got some kind of damn privilege or something. Racist ass. I'm ready to file the papers. Let's go to court. You don't have no evidence. Big ass pig. Take your ass back to Redneck, Kentucky, wherever you come from. I don't bother nobody. Mind my own business. Damn, I'm pretty hyped up to be a person and still sit. <laughs> Piss me off. I don't like a bully. Oh, he's old. He's sickly. I, I can pick on him. You don't mess with the wrong one. See your ass in court. Let a judge. Let a judge decide. Bring your evidence. Ain't nobody disturbing your ass like that. Shall we continue? <laughs> Surely. <laughs> that brought me some energy, didn't it? <laughs> okay. But Alex, I'm watching Alex Jones. He's on the stand. And, and he's on the, he spent years saying that the uh, Sandy Hook massacre was fake. And now he's on the stand under, under oath. It, it's real. It's real. It reminded me when I was in court with, with pork chop and, 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 and pool lady. See, you can come out here as long as nobody really can question you or whatever. You can say whatever the hell you want to. But when it comes down to it, show your evidence, show your proof. They clam up. Oh, it's real. He looks so stupid. Just like poor chop. And noble, and they knew they was lying all the time. Why are you going to go to court? I guess you think the court going to just believe your lies. That's not how courts work. If you lie, you still gonna have to have some evidence to back up your damn lie. Ain't that right, Sister Nanny? <laughs> Even if you do lie, you gotta have some kind of evidence to try to support your lie. <laughs> That's how courts work. <laughs> You're going to come to court and admit everything that I was saying is right. <laughs> How dumb. <laughs> I just 
wanted to talk about dumbass Alex. Uh, what's his name? I forgot what the damn man is. Alex Jones. <laughs> Alex Jones, stupid. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I advise people don't eat pork. <laughs> pork been giving me a real problem last few years. <laughs> Goddamn pork. <laughs> Where my holy Quran at? <laughs> Maybe I can find a verse to get to get the pork off of me. <laughs> you know, Sister Mandy, it's gotten to the point. Because of my pork problem, I'm prejudiced, against, I'm prejudiced against fat people. I'm looking at TV, and before they can even open their mouth, I'm prejudiced and biased against them already. <laughs> I know all people with a little weight on them. Hell, if I'm not careful, I'm going to be a porker myself. <laughs> Sister Nandy said, I need to move my case to federal court. I might do that. I'm going to tell you, honestly, Sister Nandy, I don't like going to court. I spent 10 years going back and forth in court. That's not my, that's not my favorite place to be. <laughs> it's just not. I do everything I can to avoid that. <laughs> I spent 10 years messing with that stuff. I, it's not, no. <laughs> All right. When I first joined the Nation of Islam, Minister Farrakhan was, was rebuilding the Nation of Islam. And of course, when you, when you first begin trying to build something, um, it's, it's very hard to do. It gets frustrating. And it's, it's disappointing. I was with Minister Farrakhan when we only had 30 people in the audience, sometimes 20. And Minister Farrakhan would come and he would teach just like if there was thousands, thousands of people. That's the way you have to do. It'd be only 10, 12, 30 people and Mr. Farrakhan teach at the study group or whatever, just like it was thousands. Of course, we know now he can talk to thousands and thousands of people right now. But I remember when Minister Farrakhan said, down the road, he said and made a speech.